Screencastify is one of the most popular screencasting tools out there. But what is screencasting? If you're new to this concept, it's essentially taking a video recording of anything that's on your screen, but also enabling vo uh, audio voiceover as well as video to be embedded into it if you choose to do that. It's a good tool for teachers, but also students. Students can use this as a way to demonstrate understanding through screencast video. Okay, so before we jump in, what you'll have to do is add the screencast extension. If you haven't done that before, you just need to go to the Chrome Web Store, uh, search for Screencastify and add it. Once you install it, uh, it'll ask you to give it access to your microphone, your video, your screen. Once you have that initially set up, then you're ready to rock. Okay, so here's how you would actually create a Screencastify video. So first you would pull up the tab that you would like to have in the background. So uh, most people start with just a slideshow, whether it's Google Slides or some other format, but you can essentially record anything that's on your screen, anything that you wanted to demonstrate, whiteboard, things like that. So uh, I'm gonna have this presentation up and to start recording it, what I would do is click on the Screencastify extension to the top right. And then here's the dashboard for Screencastify. So you have three different options here. First is you can pick the browser tab that you're on. You can choose the whole desktop, or if you want to just do a webcam, you could do that. Although if you're going to do that, you really don't have the value of it being a screencast. So typically you're going to choose browser tab or desktop. The next thing is you can choose to have your microphone on or off. Uh, once you click microphone on, then you can toggle between the microphones. So for instance, I would want to choose the, uh, the Yeti Nano because that's the better mic. And you can see the green bar here going up and down. That's to show that the microphone's actually working. The next thing you can do is enable your webcam. And when you do that, then you, again, you get to choose uh, which of the cameras. I only have one. That's the built-in camera on my computer. So once you are ready, uh, you're going to click the record button. And on the bottom right, you can actually see uh, where the embedded video would be. And you can move this around. You can change the size of it. Um, one thing to keep in mind is depending on where the information in your slides are, you don't want your video to be covering up important information. So that's one thing that I suggest is think about where you want that to be and on your slides or whatever you're presenting, maybe adjust and move things around. Now, the other thing that's important is if you don't click on the actual screen that you want shared, that blue button won't light up. So click on the entire screen, or if you want to do the application window, you could choose that as well. But I'm just going to do entire screen here. I'll click share. Another tip is that if you go full screen on this, it'll make it a lot easier to see. Uh, and actually now you just saw that three, two, one countdown. Uh, so now it is recording live. Um, that's just like a quick visual cue to let you know that you're starting. And once you're in the video, so you see that button to the top right, that's how you know that you're live uh, and that is recording. On the bottom left, you also have a few different options. You can pause and restart the video. Um, that's really important for teachers that maybe want to go to a different page or a site and don't want there to be too much of a lag in between the instruction. And there's also the edit tool here uh, where you can actually have uh, a mouse focus. So as you click on that, you can see that there's a, a like a spotlight on whatever I'm pointing to. Uh, and there's a similar one um, with the pen where you can actually draw and annotate over the top of what you're presenting. This is really important in say like an English class where you maybe you want to annotate some text or in a math class where you want to uh, draw out some of the different equations. A lot of different uses to this, but that's the annotation tool. Uh, the eraser tool, uh, that's to the right. That's what you would expect. That's where you can erase any annotations that you made. And then if you want to completely wipe everything clear, on the top left, you can see that wipe screen clear button, and then it will get rid of everything. Once you're finished your recording, you're going to click on the top uh, right where that Screencastify icon is, and then you'll see the uh, pop-up menu come up again, and that's where you can stop your recording. Here it is. Uh, so here is where you can either st uh, start again if you wanted to just redo your, your video. Um, you can pause it, and then this is where you can stop it entirely. So now it is stopped. And the other nice thing about Screencastify is that it loads right into your Google Drive. So once you're finished with it, it, it has a folder that's already there for you. Um, so this is the preview screen. You can take a quick look at how it came out. You can hear the audio, you see the visuals. It's just a quick glimpse on, on what you'd want to do with it. Um, and then this is the shareable link. This is where you can just copy and share it with whoever you want to see your video. Uh, you can send it straight to Classroom, or you can publish it to YouTube. So those are all easy ways that you can share this out. 
Now, another option is if you want to just take this video file and maybe spruce it up a bit, put it in a video editor, or just to save it into your files on, on your computer, you could click download. And I actually uh, suggest ex exporting it as an MP4. And that will be compatible with just about anything that plays videos. Uh, and then this is a, a cool feature that, that came out is you can actually create an animated GIF image uh, based on what you created. So if it was a quick tutorial or, or something like that, uh, you can just push it out as, a, as an image file. So those are the basics of Screencastify. Uh, give it a shot. It's a very powerful tool. I know teachers across the world are using this. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime at TomDriscollEDU or at TomDriscollEDU.com.